What is going on everybody and welcome to part 37C of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part, we're going to be adding some final touches to our scoreboard, which is just going to be some player information, such as their level, their money, their kills, their deaths, and all that fun stuff. So for this, we're just going to be working in our custom underscore scoreboard dot Lua file today. So go ahead, get that open, and let's begin. So we want to go ahead, move down to this player panel paint function right here. And we're just going to be adding four simple texts. We're going to be drawing four simple texts. So right below this, let's enter down a little bit. First thing I want to do is I want to draw a dot simple text. And this is going to be the player's name. And I can go ahead and grab this player's name by doing V colon get name. And that'll just be grabbing the value from this for loop right up here. So get name followed by dash level. And then we're going to add on to this or concatenate onto this the player's level. So get nw int. And the nw int we want to get is player level. Then we want to go ahead and do the font. And I'm just going to set this to the one that we've been using. You can set this to whatever you want, whether it be a custom font or a already made font. But I'm just going to be doing derma default again, just like we've been doing elsewhere. Then we want the X position, which will be 20. The Y position, which will be 10. And then the color of the text, I'm just going to make it a full-on white. And we don't need any alpha with this, so we'll just do the RGB here. And now if we go into game here to test this out, what we should see when we press tab is my name followed by the or followed by my level, which is 13 there. And as you can see, it is also 13 here. Now, if we were to go ahead and add another player or in this case, a bot, what we'll see is the bot's name followed by the bot's level right there, just on a separate line. So next up, we want to go ahead and draw just a little bit more information here. And what we want to draw next is the player's money now. So we can do draw dot simple text again. The first argument needs to be the text that you want to be drawn. In this case, it'll start with a dollar sign, then concatenate onto that V colon get NW int, and I want to get the player money networked int. And then again, the font type, which we'll just be using derma default, or I will just be using derma default, followed by the X and Y positions, which will be 20 for the X and 25 for the Y. And then again, we will just make this white. And then we can go ahead and draw the next one here. This one will be the kills that they have. And we'll start it off with kills. And concatenate onto that, dot, dot. This is a built-in function, which is V colon frags. And then the font type again, derma default. X value is going to be a little bit different here. It's going to be the player list colon get wide minus 20. This is going to put it on the far right side of that scoreboard. And I will show you that in just one second here. Let's go ahead and set the Y value now to 10. The font color to white again. And then a new argument here, which is just the text alignment. I want this text to be aligned to the right. So I can do this by doing text underscore line underscore right and all this will prevent from happening is that if the amount of kills gets long enough so if it's enough digits to where it's going to be going off screen this text align right is going to prevent that by making it so whenever more text is added it'll go ahead and go off to the left hand side instead of the right hand side just like if you were to align text to the right in microsoft word so that's what that does there we got the kills there. If I were to go ahead and get a kill here, let's just spawn in another bot. And once that bot dies, or once I get a kill, you'll see that my kills went from 0 to 1. So now, the last thing that we want to add here is just the amount of deaths that they have. So we'll do the same exact thing. Draw simple text. Instead of kills, this will be deaths. And then we want to concatenate onto that V colon deaths. And this is also a built-in function. And again, derma default. Derma, derma default. And then the X is going to be player list colon get wide minus 20 once again. And then the Y value is going to be 25. And then font color of white. 
and once again we want to go ahead and align the text right so we can go ahead and make it so that just like I said before is not going to be going off the right hand side of the screen if they were to get a large amount of kills or deaths in this case so again we can go into game here we can check and since I did kill bot 2 you can see that he now has one death there and if I were to die you can see that my deaths goes up as well. Now we do have one problem here, which is when we do get a kill here, let's make this guy stop. When we do get a kill here, you can see that it is counted correctly, but if we were to die, or the person with those kills were to die, you can see that it gets reset to zero. So in order to fix this, what we can do is inside of this player death function within our init.lua file we can go ahead and add a single line of code that'll go ahead and set the player's kills correctly so we just want to do attacker colon set frags we want to set this to attacker colon frags plus one now if we save that go back into game here what will happen whenever we get a kill let's stop this guy again and as you can see, it's set to 2 because it's still counting that first one. But if we were to go ahead and kill ourselves in console now, you can see that our kills are still set correctly instead of being reset to 0. So that's just a quick fix in order to get that working correctly. So that right there is going to conclude part 37C of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting, as well as part 37 as a whole. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.